I see you two down there. Come on out. I told you two to get a room. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey yo, YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm Whiteblade Zero, and if you don't know me, you will. Last time, we arrived here on the moon, and got, and we found our way to the x Not Fortress. I'm getting bombarded by Moonclaps and z and z yucks Or y yucks We won't see them until later, I guess, I don't know. In this episode, not only are we fighting some elite x Knots, we are now, we are gonna progress in, we're gonna get started on the fortress. Yeah, pretty much. I cannot get my words out. Honestly. So as you can see, I have Power Bounce equipped this time. Uh, I think I got rid of the Damage Dodge P and the... Um, um, another badge I had that I didn't really need. I think it was Hammer Throw. And decided to put on Power Bounce, because... Well, Hammer Throw is not really that worth it. And we got a Maple Syrup. Sweet. Literally. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Voltrum, because I don't really use it that much. First and foremost, pay close attention to what you just saw there. Oh, I think I already forgot it. Okay, never mind, I didn't. But Vivian did. Follow that line and you'll, you'll get the elevator key. And apparently that disables uh, the security and turns them off. Another Super Shroom. Hmm... Eh, I didn't really want the Earthquake anyway. Oh, I did tell you we were going to get a lot of items in this area. So once you get the Elevator Key... Set it in. We gotta wait for this thing. Apparently. We gotta go to Sub-Level 2. Sub-Level? Hmm, huh, starting this really is like Pikmin 2 or something. I don't know. Okay, starting out in sub level 2, we're gonna get a sneak attack from these creeps. And we have another X Knot to deal with. A brand new one. We got the X Knot PhD. Or x not Doctor, I'm going to call him. Or Doc, I don't know. So HP 9, attack 4, and defense 0. These guys like to throw beakers of chemicals. Now, now, the chem now whatever chemical comes out can have any kind of effect. So you really have no idea what's going to happen. Sometimes, sometimes he'll even drink one, too. You really got to watch out for that. So as of now, those guys are the, are the second threat. Well, actually, there are only three ty types of x knots now. There's the regular ones, the elite ones, and now the pe and now the docks. So the written, so the first ones, they are the weakest. Whoa, hello. And of course, the docks are like in the middle, whereas the elites are the strongest. I well, you know we're electrified, but it doesn't really matter because we're a little bit too strong anyway. Get rid of you, because you're stronger and a threat. And again, why am I talking through this, honestly? I think I'm going to want to go to Little Mac. I think I might have already shown a clip of this, but I'm going to demonstrate it now. For the Stampede, just alternate between L and R. Pretty easy. And press A just after Yoshi whistles to a stylish. Boy, oh boy, that's a lot of Yoshis. That really is a stampede, isn't it? Well, it's a good thing Simba's not in there. Okay, now the reason why we're in here... Is it technically not the first place you need to go to, but it's good if you want to get some collectibles and such. You're gonna want to mosey on all the way to the left... ...to get a star piece. Yes, okay, okay, we get it. 
And I believe next you wanna go down this one? Yep. Nailed it. You can use coops to get that there cog. You can use this to operate a crane. But what kind of crane? Well, it's not the pink crane to make the ninja to make the ninja megazord, that's for sure. Hey buddy, how's your trousers? Wow. That guy was an idiot. Oh well. Idiots can't be winners. I'll take it. And what do you know, we gotta go here next. Now the floor is actually a little bit lighter where you have to go, so... It's actually not that hard to see. But if you do have sight problems, there is a map over there in the background. And that will allow us to get a card key. Now this is now the card key is very important for something later, and it's a sleepy sheep. Scrap it. Yeah, no need for that thing. It's pretty useless. Now over in here, is there something? Whoa! Hello, buddy. All right, so in here, a ruin powder I don't want. There's some memos here you're gonna want to read. Technically, you don't have to. Well, actually, you should. But I technically don't have to. But still. Wait. What? Am I thinking the wrong room? Yeah, I'm in the wrong room. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Stinking. This is the wrong room. Anyway, with the cog, we're going to want to go back up to sub-level 1. You're probably thinking, what? Why? Well, that's, what we need. that's where you're, you're going to see what the cog is for. It can do this at any point, it doesn't have to be right now. But I think it's pretty convenient to take care of it now while it's on my mind. All the way here in sub-level 1. Insert the cog, and we activate the crane game. Okay, let's take a look here. Left, right, middle. Yep, that was right. So like I said, now we can do the crane game. Doing this, you can get a star piece and two good badges I highly recommend. Now hold down A to move, move the crane left, and you can move it backwards into, to hold it B. Once you do that, it'll, gra it'll grab the item you got, providing you aimed right, which I did. And you will get that item. Now you could grab the coins if you want. But it's only like one apiece, so it's kind of pointless. Now those two badges there, they are the Feeling Fine badges. You wear those, and any status status ailments like sleep, freeze, or anything like that, you will not be affected by them. So these badges are a definite must, especially for the final battle. Because believe me, the final boss of this game can be pretty heavy with status attacks. So yeah, you want the Feeling Fine badges. Both of them. They do cost like, um, four badge points apiece. But believe me, it is so worth it. Look at that smile! It's so happy. You know what I mean? And to be honest, I had no idea about this until... I think until I checked carefully with the guidebook, I don't know. It was a while ago. In any event, we got the Feeling Fine badges. Now we're going back to sub-level 2. Yep. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Now we want to go to the right side. That'll do another card key we need to get. 
I gotta say, I love Stampede. And we need the access code. Um, there was some place down below where, where you can read that. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna save you guys the trouble of checking it out, and you can just use this to help. Because thankfully my guidebook has it. Yeah, I know, you probably think I'm super cheap for using a guidebook. But I do my games the way I want to. Don't like it? Scram. Okay, and that's the code right there. Okay, so we got another quiz show here. I'm gonna want to switch partners, cuz... We actually... Cuz, yes, if you fail, you get to fight more enemies. Which is exactly what I'm going to do, just like last time. So just like before, get, I think you get five right, you proceed, but if you get three wrong, I think that's it, three wrong. Yep, five correct questions, you win, but three wrong, you fight enemies. Okay, so the answer to this one is elevator key, but I'm going to go for a monkey. Get it? Monkey? <laughs> yeah. Now the second one, pretty simple. The girl in pedal bark is waiting for coops. That is Koopy Koo, but I'm going for... Why not? Marilyn. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Marilyn waiting for Koops. Yeah, that's kind of scary. So one more and we face the enemies. So here we go. Question three. Zumba, Lava Bubble, but Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have? Total. That's six, but I'm going to say defeat. Just to be funny. Alright, puzzles are back together. Finally. And yet we got these guys. Now, I believe these were the Z-Nuts I was thinking they were. That's exploding entrance. In any case, okay, X-Yucks. What did I say they were before? So, the X-Yucks. I hear this is read as cross yucks. Not... Okay, so I guess it technically is supposed to be cross, but I'm saying X anyway. Protect extra important areas, huh? Interesting. Okay, hold on a second. You hear what I just said? I call them X yucks, even though they're cross yucks. And yet they guard extra special areas. There is a pun in there. And how did I not say that before? Okay, so HP 10, attack 3, defense, Uno. These guys can produce two mini, mini, um, X yucks. So, these guys are definitely the toughest of all the yucks. Ouch. I missed that one. There we go. Okay, now to, now to tell the mini X yucks. Then we can finally take these guys down. HP 1, and that's it. Nothing else. Yeah, I'm gonna use up a Thunder Rage. Might as well. I don't want to get rid of these guys, you know? Wow. I did a Super Guard perfectly. How often does that happen? Yeah! Now that is a power bounce. That, folks, is a true power bounce. From start to finish. Oh, yes. I defeated them. They're not cute. But they are beaten. Now give me that key. Yeah, well... <laughs> yourself. Okay, so it's another elevator key. I thought it was a different card key. 
my mistake. In 15 minutes, using up a lot of time, that's for sure. A lot more time than I would have preferred. Probably I should have I should have cut out the rest of that battle. Because it ain't really one of the more important ones, that's for sure. Anyway, now that we have the second elevator key, we can go down this elevator. But I wonder, what's on the other side? Alright. And we get a Thunder Rage. Or rather we got one back. And what do you know? We're in this room now. We remember this place, don't we? In any case, over here, another card key. That's number two. And there should be one more to find. But first, let's take out Double Ugly. And thankfully, there was only one of them. One of them, and that's enough for me. So with our new elevator key, we can now go into sub-level 3 and 4 now. That is good. So our next stop is sub-level 3. That's where we gotta go next. As you may have guessed, there are gonna be more enemies here. Including guys like him. And now we're going to a pretty difficult room. Or at least one I find difficult. Or tedious. Yep, another one of these, but this time... We gotta move with the light. We cannot stray from it this time. And cool, an HP drain. Just make sure you're extra careful, because if you get shocked, you'll get you'll be bounced right back at the beginning. Which means you gotta do this all over again. Now it is best to take this slow. Don't try and rush through it. You know what they say. Slow and steady wins the race. And if he ain't slow and steady, he ain't gonna win the race. Just make sure you're not too close to the edge, either. <laughs> trying to psych you out, they were. But I'm surprised I got through that so easily. Yeah, that's three car keys. That's all we need. It ain't like Metal Gear Solid. But it'll do in a pinch. Yeah, we're doing pretty good progress for 18 minutes. And hey buddy, how's it going? Not Tugger Conroy. Thank goodness for Showstopper. And hello, Super Shroom. We probably don't need you. Eh, cell phone. Eh, lose the maple syrup. Now, I actually forgot to forgot to mention that there's actually something kind of funny I want to show you guys. Something I totally overlooked. And where you'll find the code anyway. So, back to sub-level 2. And I'm glad Little Mac can really run. Yep, this is the spot. Remember this place? Well, this pink one here will tell you the code. And this tells you the activation thing. Right, left, right, middle. That's pretty much for the, um, the, uh, you know. Anyway, if you go in here, close the curtain, then open it again. Huh? This is the wrong room. You're supposed to come back up here, do this. <laughs> yep, they kept this in from the last game. And it even affects your partners, too. See? Look at them all. Everyone looks so cute like that, don't you think? Well, except for Flurry. Blech. Doesn't Goombella remind you of something? <laughs> yep. 
And of course, Mario's color will still change even when you wear the even when you wear the badges, these emblem badges. See? Now it's 8-bit Wario. <laughs> Wario wins. <laughs> Eat the pizza while Luigi! <laughs> funny, funny, ain't it? You know, I believe to change back you just do this. Okay, maybe not. Okay, just exit and return to normal. It's kind of awkward how that works, but <laughs> yeah, I like to show you that little tidbit. Pretty dang funny. In any case, I'm, I think we're actually pretty close to the very end of this of this um, area. We just got one more bit to go after the, the next room, and we'll be facing the boss. So we'll just wait here to, to see what's behind the door. So, next time on Thousand Year Door, which is not this door, we will, we will go through, see what the card keys are for. We should have three, I believe. One, two, three... Yep, that's right. We'll find out what those three are for, and see if we can... What those three are for. Wow. How did I not see that sooner? In any case, yeah, we'll be doing all that. So, until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave. Thank you for watching. This is the wrong room.